So I got this color and I'm not sure what this is. Honestly, I don't know what type of yarn all of these are. But I'll show you the things and I'll maybe add captions to it later. So I got this one for myself and my mom got this green color. And she got this one to knit a summer sweater, I think. So yeah, it's super thin compared to mine, which feels more fluffier and thicker. And I'm going to use mine to knit a cardigan, but it'll be a fall cardigan because this is pretty thick. And I don't know why, maybe because it's transitioning to spring, I was more into like the bright colors. So I got this almost neon green color and I'm planning on making another cardigan with this one as well. So I got like eight of these and then I also got eight of these lavender ones as well. And this is pretty thick. Um, I didn't notice that when I was there, but these are really pretty colors. And my mom got another one of these cones and this is actually a different color. So next to it, it's definitely more blue. And she also got another similar color cone here. So it's slightly different, but I don't know. I think she's planning on combining these colors together to make a cardigan or a sweater. I'm not sure yet, but individually, these are all very pretty. And then I also got some black yarns on these cones. So let me open them first. So these are pretty thin. So I got this plain one. And then I also got this one with the sparkles. And I couldn't decide which one to get, so I just decided to get both. And these are two different types of yarn, I think, and I got them to use it in my black cardigan. So I'm working on my cardigan with this mohair that I got last time. So yeah, this is the front. So I'm just working on lengthening the body portion right now. And the arm holes are here on this side, and then the other one right here. And I want some parts of the sleeves to be a little see-through. So I got this thinner yarn to give a little bit of a texture difference to the sleeves. But I couldn't decide which one to use. So I like this plain one, but this sparkling one is really pretty too. This actually looks really pretty. But I don't know yet. So I'm just going to decide that later when I'm working on the arms. And then the lady, the owner lady there, she gave us a free gift and she gave us two balls of these purple yarn and she said that this is really good for summer scarves, I think she said. Um, she said it's a very cool material so it's perfect for summer. So we're gonna try and make a scarf with this one. And so I'm thinking about color blocking with this and this color to make a cardigan. I think that'll be really interesting. Um, I think the orange color will be the accent color of the purple cardigan, maybe? I'm not sure yet. And yesterday, I actually started gauging for my next project with this lamb's wool. I thought this was cotton, but it's, um, I asked her today and she said it was lamb's wool. And this is how much I have right now, but it's really nice to work with. And I'm planning on making a vest with this one. It feels super nice, super soft. And I'm using a 4mm needle. And I really like the look of this and I want this vest to be more tighter and structured so that's why I'm using a smaller needle but yeah really enjoying this one so I can't wait to start this vest. So that's everything that we got today and the reason why we went to Good Sale today was because so this was our second visit and we wanted to return or exchange some of the things that we got last time. There wasn't anything wrong with them it's just something that me and my mom noticed because you were just picky and annoying like that. But yeah, I felt really bad going back and exchanging them. But the lady was super nice. She actually told us to come back within a month if we ever wanted to exchange something. And when we went today, she asked no questions and told us to look around and shop and look for her after if we had any questions or if we were ready to check out. So yeah, she was super nice and yeah, but we ended up spending more than we were exchanging, so. But yeah, it was super fun and I can't wait to use all of these to make things.
So this is my mom's sweater and I didn't help her at all with this one. She's doing really well on her own. I think it's super impressive. Um, this is a top-down sweater design, so it's a little different than the cardigan that I knit. Um, yeah, because you work in circles, I think, so I have no idea how to do this yet. So yeah, she did the armholes by herself, and she even has her own method of marking things now. And the other side as well. And she's actually knitting double-stranded, but still, it feels super light. So I think she can definitely wear this this summer. And I'm still working on lengthening the body. So since my last update, I think I knitted about six more inches, but I still have way more to go. And by the time I finish this, it'll be summer, and summer in Korea is super humid and hot. So I don't think I'll be wearing this until this fall or winter because I'm already knitting this with two strands. So it's pretty, it's going to be pretty warm. So yeah, but I still, I'm really enjoying knitting this. So I'm going to continue with this and finish this first before starting another project. So it's been a couple of days since my last update and I just started knitting and I feel like I still have a long way to go to the length that I want this to be. So I think I'm going to end up using the rest of this. And then I also came across a video on how to make scrunchies with your knitting. Um, so this was my leftover yarn from my sock project. So I'm going to use this to make one or I'm going to try to. But I, I want to get the body portion of this sweater done before I start that. So I finished the body portion of the sweater last night and I'll add a video of me trying it on but it's super soft. Um, the only bad thing about this mohair is that it's already attracting lots of cat hair. Um, but I guess I'll just have to take good care of it. And then I decided to use this sparkly black thread for the sleeves and I think this is going to look really pretty. Um, my mom already started hers with the new color so I'll have a video of that here as well. And I started the scrunchie after I finished the sweater and I wanted this to be a bigger scrunchie so it's pretty long. Um, so yeah, this is the leftover yarn from my sock project. And I'm also using a smaller needle just because I like the look of this. And yeah, I really like these colors. So yeah, I have two knitting projects that I'm working on right now and I think the scrunchie will be a quick one and I might make these pretty often with leftover yarns. So I worked on this for two hours, almost two hours I think, and I'm only halfway. So yeah, I guess another two hours I can start sewing this together and turn this into a scrunchie. 
Um, but I don't have any elastic band for this yet, so I'm going to go get some tomorrow. But yeah, so I think I'm going to end this video here. I think I'll try to make um, two knitting videos a month because I cross stitch more than I knit. So yeah, I think two or maybe three depending on how much I knit. But yeah, I just really like these colors. So yeah, I guess that's it. So I hope you liked this video as well. Let me know what you thought about this one. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.